defensive stop late in the in the fourth quarter, and what kind of keyed that? Stop. It was huge, you know. It was huge, man. It was crunch time. Guys was on the on the job, and uh, we, we, we was where we were supposed to be. And um, you know, it just it just was, you know, it was. I don't know. It was like nut cutting time. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I was trying to think of something to say, but uh, we stood up. We stood up, man. And um, it was good for us to um, go out there and put up, and it's gonna carry its momentum going forward. What was that when you made that swim move to set game Jones? That was like. <clears throat> What, what, what was that like? Uh, you know, it felt um, felt good to get that nice swim move. That's one of my uh, one of my moves I like to use a lot, and it was open, you know. So uh, took it, and it felt good to get to get that first sack of the year. And you know, I had a, almost got co close a couple other times. So it just gave me motivation as a rusher, continue going forward, and uh, motivate the guys. You know, I'm proud of Dante to go out there and get a game closing sack, man. So guys, we rushing good, and we just want to continue to do better. How do you think the defensive line played as a whole in terms of containing? rushing attack and also a mobile quarterback. Um, and how do you think you did contain the mobile You know, quarterback? aspects of it, I'm going to have to review the film. But, you know, but just, just being in the game, being in the moment, I know guys play hard. They played their hearts out and uh, did the best we could. And uh, we just want to continue to build off the performance. Brady, Arthur said a few minutes ago that, that they scored the touchdown, get a two-point conversion, could have easily been a here-we-go-again moment. Why was it not this time? You know, um, because we believe in this team that we got. And, um, they went down, scored like we, like we, like we knew that we would, knew that we knew that they would. So, um, you know, it's all that. You know, here we go again. All this, you know, we got to play the game. It's still time left on the clock. We got a chance. What was it like for y'all the last two weeks? You have twenty point losses. You come out of that. How was that different this week? Like, what, what, what changed maybe within this team? Um, I wouldn't say nothing changed. You know, we just adjusted. You know, the things that were hurting us were fixable, and. Um, I think we did a good job of that in our preparation and believing in ourselves and just, you know, knowing that we can get over that hump and continue to push. Um, so getting this first win is definitely a step in the right direction. But well, we want to we want to go a long way. We want to continue to get better and uh, go back to work. You, you said believe. I think everybody that's come through here has said believe. And you some is that is that something that Arthur has really been preaching to y'all? Um, you, I mean, you could say that. You could say that. But I think as a group of group of leaders we got on this team, that's some of the message that we wanted to get across as well. And um, and guys are like like you say, believing in it and um, keep pushing and keep pushing to get over that hump. And uh, we we're not over that hump, but yeah, but we are taking a step in the right direction. You say could, no, I could say that. What is what is he saying that's giving you that belief? That's is he literally just saying? But I mean, as a, co as a competitor, you play to win the game. You better you, if you don't prepare to win the game, why are you playing for? If you don't believe that you're gonna win. Why are you playing for? You know, so that's I think that's that's just the the, the message. And um, um, you know, I, I don't I don't know if there's a, a phrase that you're looking for, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, I'm good. How much of the defensive plan today was predicated on not letting Daniel Jones sneak out and get one of those big runs? One of the big uh, zone reruns. Yeah, uh, we definitely knew he was capable of it. He's a strong runner, um, and um, so definitely guys being. Prepare for that, and however, however they wanted to dress it up, and um, we did a good job. We did a good job today. He had a strong run on the um, two-point conversion. So, you know, I slipped off, man. You know, I, that's boy, I don't like that play right there, but <laughs> I don't like that one. You know, so I, that's that's gonna make me do some extra push up tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but he he definitely a super strong runner, a good leader for their team. And, but we didn't want to let him beat beat us with his legs because he was very capable. Yeah, it seemed like oh, after that two-point conversion, you were like laying down, like how, like were you just thinking I had him or something like that, or? Uh, you know, I, I, I felt the initial initial joy. I thought it stopped, and he had a, sec, a great second effort by him, and uh, they got in the end zone. So definitely disappointed, but, you know, I popped up, you know, just run off the field. So uh, so definitely something that I, that I um, got to finish better in, in that moment, whether it's, you know, whether that's my gap or not. You know, if I'm in the position to make a play, I, I want to make it every time. So, um, none, none, you know, every L that I take, you know, is going to make me better. And um, so it is what it is. Last one, Dylan. Yeah, Grady, what does it say for the cornerback uh, TJ Green, old Clemson guy, stepping in for, for AJ today? He gave him one early, but yeah. it looked like he had a solid. Yeah, it's day. awesome, awesome, awesome to see TJ step up, man. And, uh, you know, just the road he's traveled as a pro, you know, being a teammate with him up in Clemson and just see how he, you know, transferred from a wide receiver at Clemson to a DB and just played his way into getting drafted in the second round and be able to have his opportunity here as we teammates again. So it's, it's awesome to see his growth, and I'm sure it's going to build confidence for him and um, and also build confidence in our coach staff and him and get maybe we can see him more on the field soon. All right. Thanks, Grady. Thank you.